Hi everyone! I haven't made a video in a while, so I thought since I'm on some new meds, I'd make one. Uh, but before I get into that, I thought I'd just give you a little update on my life. Um, I left my old job as a CNA at a nursing home, and I now work at a foster home for adults with developmental disabilities. I hated my old job, and I actually kind of like my new job, so that's a real plus in my life right now. I would cry and have panic attacks at my old job all the time, and I was just constantly anxious and stressed out, and so now my stress level is down a bit, which is a huge relief. I'm also only working part-time, two days a week, ten hours a day. Um, it's really nice, and it leaves me time to go to school. Uh, I'm finally back in school. I've been wanting to go back to school since I graduated from college over a year ago. I'm going half-time, taking two classes. One is cell biology, which is a prerequisite for anatomy and physiology, which I'm taking next term. And the other is human development, which is a prerequisite for the master's program in occupational therapy that I want to apply for. It's really nice being back in school. I feel like I'm back in my element, which is great. I have some of my confidence back and I feel like I'm actually moving forward in my life instead of stagnating like I was when I was working full time at the nursing home. Aside from school and work, things are also going well with my boyfriend. Uh, he's bipolar too, so we really understand each other on a deep level. Plus, we've been friends for five years, so we have a history together. He's been a little manic lately, which has been kind of fun and interesting, and has made me kind of jealous, honestly. But he's okay, he's not psychotic or anything, just maybe hypomanic. I just hope he doesn't get too depressed afterwards. He's not on meds, so I worry about that a little bit. But I'll be there for him if he does crash. So anyway, that's what's been going on in my life right now. So on to my med changes. I used to be on Safras, Abilify, Clonopin, Trazodone, Ambien, and Lamictal, which seems like a lot when I list it all out, and it is a lot. Um, but now I'm off of the Abilify, the Trazodone, the Ambien, and the Lamictal. I was on such a low dose of Lamictal and Abilify that it wasn't really a big deal to stop those. And this is all under the supervision of my psychiatrist, by the way. And the Ambien and Trazodone just weren't helping me sleep, so I stopped those too. In place of the Trazodone and the Ambien, I'm now taking a med called Doxepin, which is an old tricyclic antidepressant that causes sedation. And it's working really well, actually. I'm finally getting the sleep that I've been so desperately wanting and needing. And in place of the Abilify and the Lamictal, which were supposed to be helping with my anxiety, I'm now taking Effexor, which is an SNRI. I haven't been on it very long, so I haven't really noticed many effects other than side effects. The main one is a feeling of pins and needles all over my body, especially in my hands, which is kind of uncomfortable, but not too bad. Um, my psychiatrist said it would go away within a week or two, so I'm not too concerned about it. I'm hoping it will help with my anxiety to the point where I can start reducing my dosage of clonopin because clonopin is addictive and I'm probably already dependent on it. Um, and that's about all I have to say about my new meds. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll be, you'll be hearing from me again soon. Bye!